What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build, a place where if we're gonna drink wine, we're gonna drink the good stuff. That's right, Mad Dog 2020. All right guys, first of all, fun fact, I never realized the M and the D on Mad Dog stands for Mogan David, and I used to work in a liquor store, I had somebody come in asking for that Mogan David, I took them over to the really expensive wines, not realizing they wanted a big fat jug of $9 wine. <laughs> so as you guys know, I'm a whiskey guy, but my wife, is a wine lady, a wine chick, a wine girl, a wine woman, I don't know. I'm sure I'll get razzed for one of those comments. So today what we're gonna do is I want to make a little wine display. This is not an original concept. Uh, the first time I saw this done was Dave Pacito over on Make Something. So I'm not gonna put up any sort of plan for this because he actually sells a template for that. So I will link to his template down below if you wanna pick that up and make your own. I just kinda eyeballed it. But as you guys know right now, it's the zombie apocalypse. I'm not really supposed to leave the house. So in that tradition, I'm trying to use everything out of my scrap pile. I happen to have a eight foot one by six. It seemed like a pretty good, easy project to do. Uh, so I'm gonna probably batch out several of them and we're gonna just make it all about the finishes. I'll show you the process to make it and then we'll probably carve some and stain some and you know, do that build that build thing. Do that build that build thing. But I wanted to give you a project that's something you could do with probably stuff that you already have sitting around the shop. I am realizing that I am like really low on consumables. Like I'm, not, I'm almost out of glue. I'm almost out of a lot of screws. Uh, I did not plan well for the zombie apocalypse. So this should, this should be a really simple, accessible project. Or my name isn't Mad Dog. Now let's get to work. Not plugged in. What's up guys? Uh, for me, it is tomorrow. For you, there was probably just like some sort of transition. So after I made that first wine display, I went ahead and made five more. <laughs> so my thought was I'm just gonna do some, some different textures and finishes on them and see just kind of how they turn out. You know, kind of like how I do my thing. And just for all you beginners out there, I went ahead and filmed the first time that I did one of these instead of the last time. The last one is a lot better than the first one, but I want you to see that like right off the bat, you're probably not gonna get it right. You're probably gonna screw one up. Here's the one that I screwed up. Or, so here's the first one I did. As you can see, like that's not perfect. That's not perfect. I actually figured out um, after the fact that it's a little easier to smooth this out with my Dremel other than like uh, using a rasp or a file. And so in subsequent ones, you can see it, that's a lot smoother. I come in here and hit this with the Dremel as well, just to uh, kind of smooth that out. But this is like, look at that. Like this is, like that. But that's just to show you there's a learning curve when it comes to anything. So next, I'm probably gonna get out my Arbortech Turbo Plane uh, and do a texture on one of them at least. I have an idea uh, for something to do on another one with the Dremel, but uh, that may or may not fail. And I also have one more blank that I haven't done anything to. You guys would think this is just a piece of wood, but it's a blank. Um, and I have an idea for it. If that idea worked, it's probably the thumbnail. If not, it probably didn't work. So next up, we'll probably do like a little carving montage of some sort and then hit these with the torch and from there.
I'm Batman. What's up, guys? How we doing? What do you think? Do y'all want a uh, a wine display now? Let's just go through them real quick. Uh, the one that I've got up right now is the green, yellowish green. Uh, we've got the red uh, that I hit with the uh, the turbo plane. Dig it. Did this one uh, with just a little bit of texturing and stuff like that. I got this technique idea from an uh, Instagram account called From a Seed. He also has a YouTube channel where he kind of like goes over uh, his different textures and stuff too. Definitely go check it out. I'll link it down below. Get the purple. Purple looks pretty cool. Blue turned out really well. I don't know if you can see the texture, but that blue looks really good. Then there's Tito. You know, good old cousin Tito. The cousin that you have to invite because he's part of the family, but... He's not quite right. I think with practice, I could have made this look a little better. It's just the, the lines aren't even and whatnot. So, so eh, there it is. I mean, it looks all right. And then of course, my personal favorite, the wine orang. Isn't that cool, man? So this is my first attempt at doing one of these. This is not my idea. Uh, I actually got this idea from somebody on Instagram. I tried to figure out who it was. At the time I'm making this, I, I still haven't determined who it is. If I do determine, I do want to give them credit. So I'll link it down below the Instagram handle. But this was not my idea. I just saw it. I thought it looked really cool. Check that out. Now that being said, like look at the ears. Like I chewed off the ears a little bit with the router. Definitely make the ears a little bit more stout, expecting the router to kind of chew them down a little bit. Now for the issues I had. I don't really have too many issues aside from just a little bit of learning curve with the bandsaw. If you guys don't normally use your bandsaw or just recently purchased a bandsaw, get out there and just kind of carve some lines. Um, just kind of when you're looking at it, getting an idea of the plane of the blade versus the line that you're cutting on sometimes can be a little wonky. I would say the biggest issue I had with all of these is I really wish I could have used a spray finish. I just didn't have any spray finish around. So what I ended up doing is using the Halcyon, which I mean, it gives great coverage, but especially with the wine orang here, like there's so many little nooks and crannies that it was really hard to not get drips and stuff around. And also first time around, when I was applying the finish, I had them sitting flat on a two by four. And so some of that dripped down on and actually adhered them to the two by fours. And when I pulled them off, I did pull some of the dye off the back, you know, I mean, it would strip out a little piece of wood or whatever. Uh, so I did have to go back and refinish a couple of those. Um, this one, I actually ended up having to build like a little kind of uh, stand for it because it had so many different angles that every time there'd be a little drop here or a little drop there and I'd have to like knock it off the wood. <laughs> I really dig this and I was I was concerned about the balance of it uh, but I think uh, I think the balance is pretty good. One thing that I did know and when I was looking this up online I saw a guy say that he drills this out in an inch and a half. I don't know if I would really go that big again. Uh, if you watch like 
I also have the world's largest wine glasses on here because my wife only has stemless glasses. <laughs> so these are like, I, somebody gave these to us or something and they're really not the best things to have hanging on here. Usually the wine glass would be a little, little higher. But if you watch, like it kind of floats around on there. And I think if that hole was a little smaller, it would stabilize it. So just keep that in mind if you want to make them. Mother's Day is this Sunday, I think. Oh no, I know, it's the Sunday. Yeah, hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a project that was quick and easy. And speaking of quick and easy, I would just like to thank my patrons. You guys are awesome. Seriously, without my patrons, a lot of this wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be possible. Uh, so I want to thank you all, but special thanks goes to Stephen Mann and Nick the Greek. Okay, guys, so in the comments down below, let me know which one of these is your favorite. You know it's the wine orang, but it's okay, man. If you like something different, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below as well. Do me a favor and like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, I gotta get to work.